so the first step is Shutter, which lets you take your screenshots to the next level. It allows you to annotate them better and way simpler than in the default screenshots tool and supports advanced features like backdrop, scrolling screenshots to capture entire web pages, and even text recognition. The app is very lightweight and free, with an occasional reminder to buy it without any limitations. This is just the first out of 7 more apps I'm gonna show you in the next 4 minutes. All links will be in the description. Let's start with a simple yet powerful app called Command X, which allows you to cut files using Command plus X shortcut, which is not supported on macOS by default. It is free and you can download it from the App Store. Or Paste is another simple app which allows you to paste any text as plain text. It is from the developer of Command X app, so the quality is guaranteed and it's also available to download on the App Store. Then goes Ice, a menu bar manager which can turn your menu bar from this into this. Now you got clean menu bar which this app also allows you to customize. You can add shadows, change colors and even make the menu bar split into two sections. Another useful feature is searching menu bar items, which is an amazing thing for keyboard-first users. The app is also free and in addition to that open source, you can download it on the developer's website. Latest is an app which makes all your other apps up to date. It allows you to update all the apps from the internet alongside apps from the App Store with one click. It also shows the details of updates and number of the release. It is free and open source, you can download it from the developer's website. Now back to productivity. Rocket is a utility which will boost your typing speed instantly. It makes typing emojis as fast as pressing a keyboard shortcut. And the best thing about it is that you can customize the symbol and other settings to take control of emoji. However, yes, there is an optional paid version for GIF support and a full emoji browser but the app still does its main job without this additional functionality. Anyway, you can download it from the developer's website. Then goes Ina, the best media player for macOS, which supports more video formats than QuickTime, has video previews and can be customized to your needs. User interface also looks better than in apps like VLC. The app feels very modern and it is widely supported by its community. You can download it from the developer's website as a free and open source app. And the final app we will cover today is Born Notch, which makes your notch useful again. You can see the currently playing song, view your calendar events, use a file shell for temporary storing files so you can access them quickly, and customize the app to your needs. By customizing, I mean dozens of settings available, like gesture support configuration, notch size, animation delay, or showing mirror to check your look before Zoom meetings instead of calendar events. The app is in active development and of course free on the developer's website. But if you want to see more apps like this one, subscribe to not miss a new Mac apps video or watch an existing one over here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.